Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK, and I talk on a variety of subjects. So if it's the first time you are visiting my channel, I don't just talk about Jamaica. I talk about everything that affects people around the world. But I do have a particular interest in what what's happening in Jamaica because that is my heritage. So. Um, if it's the first time you're visiting my channel, please like, subscribe and share. When you're subscribing, if you click on the bell once, it will give you occasional videos. But if you click on it and you'll see all, you can click on that if you want all of the videos. Some people don't want to be bombarded, so they just click on occasional. Anyway, that being said, today's topic, ganja. Jamaica is now saying it's a dangerous drug. Well, maybe they always said it was a dangerous drug. But it's almost like they've been brainwashed or something. It's like something is not quite right with the heads of government in Jamaica. Because this is a, this is at the seed of the earth that is in Jamaica that people have just been using, whether it's for recreational, whether they're... I don't even know if they need to sell it because it's so plentiful. I think it's bad when they kind of try to do mass sales and they do this drug trafficking. But now... They've got a new law. It's all to do with the Shiprider Agreement. I'm going to talk about the Shiprider Agreement in a second video. But just briefly, the Shiprider Agreement is an agreement that Jamaica has with the United States. And it means that um, the, the United States Coastal Guards have, can actually arrest Jamaicans on their own territorial waters if they suspect they're doing drugs smuggling or human trafficking or anything like that. That was the reason those five ship fishermen were arrested and treated so abominably because the agreement that Jamaica signed up with um, America, unbeknownst to them, gave them more or less license to do anything because they waived jurisdiction. They waived Jamaican jurisdiction. For as far as America was concerned, they can do anything they like with who they pick up. And that's what happened there. So it's being amended. But this um, new amendment with regard to ganja is to do with that. So I'm just going to read it quickly because I've got a couple of about the ship rider agreement. It's quite interesting. Um, as a part, as hot of the press today, or was it yesterday? Anyway, time flies. As a part of the Shiprider Agreement, recent changes made to the Dangerous Drug Act in 2015 will change the way that ganja is handled by the authorities. New provisions will be in place regarding the possession and smoking of ganja, use of ganja by persons of Rastafarian faith, and use of ganja by medical, therapeutic and scientific purposes. This is in Jamaica, you know, it's not the UK, but it's definitely got the Western flavour to it, hasn't it? Some aspects of the new law will not be operation, operational until regulations which are being developed are put in place. Here are some points you should bear in mind regarding the amendment to the Dangerous Drugs Act. Possession of two ounces or less of ganja is no longer an offence for which one can be arrested, charged, tried in court, and it will not result in a criminal record. So you're allowed two ounces of weed, basically. I don't know how much two ounces is, but maybe it's enough to get you through a week or so. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't smoke, so <laughs> I don't know much about it. Anyway, that might be a reasonable. That might be reasonable, okay? The police may issue a ticket to a person in possession of two ounces or less of ganja, similar to a traffic ticket, and the person would have 30 days to pay the sum of 500 Jamaican dollars at any tax office. The ticket is called a fixed penalty notice in the DDA. That's a dangerous drugs act. It remains a criminal offence to be in possession of over two ounces of ganja and offenders can be arrested, charged, tried in court if found guilty and sentenced to a fine or imprisonment 
or both. The conviction would also be recorded on that person's criminal record. We don't want that, do we? Because it stops you from travelling. Smoking of ganja in a public place or within five metres of a public place is prohibited in a manner similar to cigarettes. Now, this is what got me. I'm just like, when you think about Jamaica, you think everybody are born a split for, you know, they're smoking their chalice and, you know, you, you get the feeling ganja is just free to smoke anywhere. You're liberated at last. You come out of the confines of Western society where it's limited and you go to Jamaica and you feel free to smoke a spliff. But under the new drugs, Dangerous Drugs Act, you won't be able to smoke so freely unless you're a Rasta. But I'm going to come to that. Adherence to the Rastafarian faith will also be permitted to smoke ganja for sacramental purposes in locations registered as places of Rastafarian worship. That means not at their homes, you know, but like if they go to like a 12 tribes or whatever they, um, whatever um, building that they worship in, they can smoke in there but not casually like they used to. A person who is suffering from cancer or any other terminal or serious chronic illness may import medicine or a therapeutic product derived from or containing ganja. Each household is allowed to legally grow no more than five ganja plants on its premises. If there is more than one household on any premises, each household may grow five ganja plants. That might be reasonable. I don't know. Persons 18 years or older who are adherents to the Rastafarian faith or Rastafarian organisations may apply for authorisation to cultivate ganja for religious purposes as a sacrament in adherence to the Rastafarian faith. So at least they're acknowledging um, that with Rastafari, Rastafari, it's a part of the faith. So maybe you other guys, maybe in their fraternal Rasta. Anyway, a cannabis licensing authority is created by the DDA, which is a drugs Dangerous Drugs Act, for the purpose of enabling a lawful regulated industry in ganja for medical, therapeutic and scientific purposes and in hemp to be established in Jamaica. So that's the latest news folks on the Dangerous Drugs Act. Ganja, you can't spork it freely after they've kind of sorted out all the paperwork. So that's just something to bear in mind. Um, well, you could, I guess you can, it's a bit, it's a bit dubious isn't it because it doesn't say you can use it for recreational purposes if you're allowed two ounces of weed it looks like possession of two ounces of ganja is no longer an offense for which one can be arrested so it looks like as long as you don't have two ounces of weed you can smoke it but then it kind of contradicts itself by saying that smoking in a public place or within five metres of a public place is prohibited. I guess if you're out in out in the bush or in the mountains or, you know, I guess it just means that you can't smoke it in a, in a nightclub or a bar or a restaurant or the bank, places like that. Maybe that's what it means or any, you know, five metres within one of those buildings. That's probably what it means. So it doesn't mean that you can't smoke it. It just means that they are placing restrictions on where you smoke it and how much you smoke. Yeah, so that's all for now. Bye-bye.